In the 1880s, renowned artist Charles M. Russell wrote in his journal while staying near the Little Belt Mountains of central Montana. He noted that the area swarmed with mountain sheep and other wildlife. By the end of Russell's life, however, bighorn sheep had been largely extirpated from the Little Belts and many other mountain ranges. But thanks to a recent collaborative restoration effort, Charlie Russell's account of bighorn sheep in the Little Belt Mountains won't be the last. We captured 45 ewes and five young rams uh, out of the south side of the uh, Missouri River in the Missouri River breaks. That herd is a really productive herd and it had grown uh, well past our population objective. We decided to take advantage of that productivity and capture those sheep and move them to a area like the Little Belts that historically had sheep but hasn't had them in any significant numbers for over 100 years. GPS collars put on each of the sheep will help give biologists a real-time understanding of the success of the sheep transplant. And we'll be able to monitor movements, habitat use, uh, survival, and general behavior for up to five years. They're very long-lasting collars. One of the neat things about the location that we release these sheep, which is generally near the south fork of the Judith River on the east side of the Little Belts, is that we have uh, historic records, actually prehistoric records of sheep presence in the form of petroglyphs right you know, within a mile of where we release the sheep. Bighorn sheep restoration in the Little Belt Mountains illustrates a connection between historic and modern appreciation of wildlife but it also represents a continued partnership between landowners, sportsmen, and resource managers to keep native species thriving on Montana's landscapes. We really appreciate all the partners that came together to, to help us um, put this project together. I'm Morgan Jacobson, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks. <laughs>